Greetings to all learners. Myself Sharda Devre welcomes you to the lecture 8 that is workshop 2 cultivation agrotechnics of few medicinal plants under the week 2 raw material cultivation collection and processing. Let's learn the agrotechnics of the very important medicinal plant ashwagandha which is commonly known as winter cherry varaha karani asgandha or ashwagandha. Its biological source it is a dried root and stem basis of Vidania somnifera family solanaceae. So biological source means therapeutically active parts of these that particular plant. So roots and stem bases of this ashwagandha are used and these roots and stem bases contains the very important chemical constituents that is alkaloid and steroidal lactones. In previous lecture also we have learned that these uh, compounds are responsible for different uh, therapeutic benefits to the humankind and uh, here the most important is that it is a rejuvenator, immunomodulator, immunobooster uh, drug and uh, it is uh, very useful as an anti-inflammatory, anti-arthritic, anti-stress uh, drug. It is useful in treatment of insomnia and number of diseases. Its method of propagation is by two ways means directly seeds can be broadcasted on a field or uh, plant saplings can be raised on a nursery bed and then transplanted to the open field. So it is depending upon the uh, rain um, rainfall depending upon the rainfall the uh, two methods are selected if the too much rainfall is there then generally broadcasting is uh, suitable and if rainfall is less then nursery raising is a uh, more preferred type of the technique for the cultivation of ashwagandha ashwagandha require the very light red or sandy loamy soil um, less fertile soil is also found to be very uh, uh, suitable for the ashwagandha cultivation it requires a neutral uh, pH. Then climate uh, that is a dry and subtropical part. So most of the Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, uh, these are found, Gujarat, these are found to be uh, the uh, important states in India that are cultivating the ashwagandha uh, in a commercial, uh, commercial way. Temperature required up to the 35 degrees Celsius and medium rainfall is required up to 1000 meter altitude this ashwagandha plant can be cultivated. It requires very less irrigation or only life saving irrigation. Then fertilizers also it do not require very specific fertilizers. Uh, if very poor um, soil is there then that time if required then and then only fertilizers are suggested. If organic farming of ashwagandha is preferred then that time um, this type of the like NPK or like uh, synthetic fertilizer should not be used. It is very susceptible to the fungal infections so uh, it is always advisable uh, to take care of this particular disease and immediately spray it with the fungicides or specific pesticides. Um, if organic farming is there then neem pyrethrum related or holatile essential oils related spray agents can be used for to combat the pest. Then hand weeding at 30 days is required if it is broadcasted directly into the field because uh, this is a shrub so and of a very 120 or 130 days uh, uh, duration uh, of this particular medicinal plant cultivation. So it is possible that weeding is always there. So th at 30 uh, days interval weeding should be done. Harvesting should be start in the December or January and it lasts up to the March by uprooting. When fruits uh, starts uh, uh, turning from yellow to red and leaves are turning to the yellowish, then that time harvesting starts. And then after uprooting method, the roots obtain are immediately clean, dried in a shade or under the sunlight for a complete drying. Then they are converted to the grades that is a grade A, B, C, D. Even the size is of 7 cm and above and width is about 1.5 cm and very uh, white colored, uh, very good quality. Then this is a grade 1. Grade 2 is up to the 5 cm of height. Grade C is it is for the... Uh, that is for 2-3 cm height and uh, less than 0.5 cm of the diameter and the less than 2-3 cm height is uh, that is a low quality that is a grade D type of the ashwagandha. Then uh, it gives yield about 500 to 600 kg per hectare and uh, the yield of seed is up to the 30 to 35 kg per hectare which that seeds can be further utilized for the next uh, cultivation. 
there are different varieties of the ashwagandha available uh, throughout the india for cultivations and these are the some of the listed here that is a jawahar ashwagandha jawahar ashwagandha 134 raj vijay ashwagandha poshita then uh, pratap chetak rakshita like this and nagur is the local variety and the pratap is the highest yielding variety in the dry uh, root yield followed by this uh, nimilti 101 and poshita so uh, this is the very uh, Im uh, important to know that which variety is giving which uh, type of the yield in what uh, uh, ge geographical or climatic conditions and according to that it should be get selected let's learn the agro techniques of uh, medicinal plant that is a shatavari this is also very important plant in ayurveda siddha yunani which is called as a shatamuli and uh, its uh, dried roots and leaves are therapeutically active um, or therapeutically useful part it is obtained from the asparagus racemosus family liliaceae chemical constituents are saponin glycosides in that shatavari 1 to 4 and some type of the flavonoids or phenolic compounds are also present it is uh, commonly known as a tonic aphrodisiac as well as it is useful as a diuretic it is useful in treatment of the rheumatism as well as narine nerbine disorders the method of propagation is by seeds or by the crown rhizome cuttings if seeds are need to be cultivated then march april is a suitable time for propagation and if it is a transplanting then july august that is a rainy season is suitable sandy loamy soil of a neutral ph is required tropical and subtropical climatic conditions are good temperature up to 35 degrees celsius and uh, less than or equal to the 1000 mm uh, rainfall is sufficient it uh, shatavari can be cultivated up to the 1400 meter of the altitude that is even up to the some parts of the himalaya it can be cultivated which is not possible with the case of the ashwagandha then irrigation it requires the medium irrigation fertilizers uh, generally organic manure should be preferred and uh, pesticides uh, bio pesticide should be preferred harvesting should be done after the 20 months of uh, cultivation in winter by uprooting generally from 12 months uh, you can start but 20 months is found to be more suitable from the chemical constituent and then utility point of view the roots are peeled off after harvesting with the help of the sharp knife immediately and then washed with a certain uh, type of the um, uh, water treatments alkali treatments and then it should be stored in a cool uh, it should be dry in a shade and then cool in a uh, uh, store in a cool and dry place 2.5 to 3 kg per plant for fresh root it is the yield and 3 uh, to 4 tons per hectare uh, for the dry roots it is the yield of the shatavari uh, generally there are yellow variety and white variety of shatavari are famous yellow variety is having the uh, more content of the phenolics as well as the um, these saponins and hence its cost is up to the 400 rupees uh, per kg while that is of a white shatavari it is uh, up to the 40 to 60 rupees uh, per kg next drug we will learn that is a safed musali Uh, safed musali uh, which is called as the gholi or uh, this is actually the very uh, famous popular plant uh, for its aphrodisiac uses it is uh, called as the herbal viagra and it is uh, its uh, tubers are very useful it is obtained from the chlorophytum borivillanum chlorophytum arundinaceum uh, variety and its family is liliaceae its uses are that i told you that it is useful in a general debility uh, it is a spermatogenetic it increases the sperm count it is aphrodisiac in nature its method of propagation is by seeds or by the tuberous roots generally in rainy season it should be get uh, planted june or early july uh, soil should be loamy and ph should be from 6.5 to 7 some acidic uh, type of the soil is required dry weather and tropical regions are suitable climatic conditions so again the same part that is uh, maharashtra gujarat rajasthan and um, madhya pradesh are uh, suitable for the cultivation of safed musali up to the 35 degrees celsius of temperature and up to the uh, 75 cm rainfall up to 1500 meter altitude can be suitable for safed musali and 6 to 8 irrigations of total are required after the after 10 to 15 uh, days interval when there is a no rain and uh, 
uh, fertilizers i already told you if you are preferring the organic uh, farming in medicinal plants then organic manure should be utilized otherwise uh, you can use the mention that is a npk and all this that uh, harvesting it is 3 4 months after the uh, grow after the planting of the plant material and that is by uprooting by digging method especially in november or january uh, you can start the harvesting the root should be peeled immediately it should be washed it should be treated with the alkali and then it should be dried in a uh, sunlight and uh, then further dry in a shed for the complete drying and it gives about 800 to 1000 kg per hectare of the fleshy or fresh roots and after drying 200 to 300 kg uh, per hectare the yield at present there are no named varieties available however some promising strains like rc5 rc15 ct1 uh, sorry ct1 ct17 and ct2 have been found good from the yield point of view next important medicinal plant it is a brahmi which is called as also near brahmi biological sources it is a whole plant of a bacopa monieri family scrofularia c plantagenesis is also called it is uh, chemical constituents are uh, saponins uh, steroidal as well as triterpenoidal saponins it is used as a uh, intellectual promoter uh, especially for the memory enhancement and it is also used as a nervine tonic in ayurveda siddha yunani it is called as a medya rasayana it is uh, neuropathic sedative drug it is a potent uh, tonic to improve the mental alertness learning performance memory as well as it is useful in treatment of the insomnia brahmi gritam and brahmi rasa and are a popular formulation of ayurveda and commonly utilized its method of propagation is from the shoot cuttings of 5 to 10 cm length with the internodes and rootlets uh, time of propagation is may to july for nursery saplings uh, raising and um, uh, then after 30 to 4, 35 to 40 days after that transplanting can be uh, done in the uh, open field variety of uh, soils are uh, in soils brahmi can be grown but clay loamy soil is generally preferred uh, generally hot to cool type, uh, type of the temperature conditions are suitable wet and semi shade conditions are required up to 1300, 1300 meter uh, altitude is suitable weekly or depending upon the climatic conditions uh, depending upon the rainfall the uh, irrigation uh, can be planned organic fertilizers or manure should be preferred uh, then uh, if it is not there, then then that time uh, npk can be given but generally the organic farming sh- organic manure should be preferred 75 to 90 days after planting harvesting can be done in september or october and then uh, after the uh, harvesting it should be spread on a clean area or sheds under the sun for 4 to 5 days followed by the shed drying for next 7 to 10 days bacco side content starts reducing after 6 months of the storage therefore long storage should be avoided of these plants and 5 to 5 tons per hectare on drying the yield of this uh, particular plant uh, river uh, ravi or subhuta pragya shakti and cm jagriti these are the varieties that are commonly used for for the cultivation of the brahmi plant this plant is also very useful and utilized in by the herbal industry in variety of the uh, formulation and its demand is always there so uh, one can prefer its utilization uh, so its uh, um, uh, cultivation and uh, selling it into the indian or international market so thus in this uh, lecture eight we have learned the cultivation agro techniques of the few medicinal plants and which are all are very popular that is ashwagandha shatavari safed musali and brahmi hope you have learned the techniques that uh, which type of climatic conditions are required or how rainfall is uh, or irrigation uh, uh, means depends upon the rainfall how should be how harvesting should be done which type of uh, drying are required and all these things So thank you